Rhythmic gymnastics is a discipline where we use handheld apparatus. We compete on the floor for 1 minute 30 and as a senior gymnast I do hoop, ball, ribbon and clubs. I got into it because I was competing as an artistic gymnast first of all when I was a bit younger and there was a rhythmic display um, on the show. She did a ribbon routine and I was watching it and I was thinking, oh, I really want to try that. That looks so amazing. So my mum signed me up. Uh, and I tried it. I wasn't very good at it at first. My coordination wasn't very good. I'd throw the apparatus up and be like, oh, where's it gone? And it would have already landed behind me. Um, but I stuck at it, worked really hard, and then got selected for the national squad. I enjoy competing the most. When your name gets called out to represent your country, it's quite a phenomenal feeling. Um, but I also enjoy the fact that I can inspire other people to do something that they never thought they would ever be able to do. For example, I work in schools doing gymnastics, so I'm giving children opportunities that they never might have had before if I wasn't able to go and give back something that I've taken from the sport. The university helps me, um, they put me on a sports scholarship, which gives me a little bit of funding, because rhythmic gymnastics is a minority sport, which means that it is unfortunately self-funded. And then on my course, they give me as much time off that I need for the training and the competing that I do across the year. My advice to someone who wants to study and do high-end sport is that it is possible and it's just about timetabling your hours and giving yourself enough time to complete both things at your best ability. My next aim is the Commonwealth Games in 2018, which are held in the Gold Coast. Um, I want to go there and compete for Team England and we want to win a medal.